Hello guys, there's no better feeling than being done with work, headed into six days, not having to go to work. The best. This night shift knocked the stuffing out of me. I don't think I've ever been this tired after a night shift before, which is saying something because I've done probably 20 night shifts since I started this job three or four years ago. I don't know what it was about the night shift that so screwed me over, but I'm feeling tired. Came straight home after work. I finished at like five, but didn't leave work till 20 to six. Came home, got home at about six, and then just napped for an hour. Talia came over while I was napping. Um, and now we've just been hanging out ever since I woke up. But I feel tired. I've just meditated. I've just done my movement and mobility, and I've done my 10,000 steps for the day. So thankfully, I can go to bed whenever I want now. Though whenever I'm done with all my obligations, I sort of just feel like chilling instead of going to sleep. I made a big step today. Um, girl at work yesterday, or the day before, no, it was yesterday, really, like, I was talking to her about my ankle injury because I asked her how her running going, she said good, and then she was asking me about mine, and she she's like, you just got to treat yourself. Um, you got to, like, spend money on yourself, invest in yourself. And I was like, yeah, that's true. And then when she got home, she looked up a whole bunch of podiatrists and stuff, um, in my area specifically, because remember where I live, and sent send it to me, sent a screenshot to me, and she's like, treat yourself, girl, and I'm like, yeah, you know what, I will. So I haven't booked in to see a podiatrist, because I decided to go with an osteo, because I actually spoke to my sister Emma on the phone last night, who is an osteo. Unfortunately, she moved to Adelaide to practice, so I don't get free osteopath osteopathic treatments. Um, so I booked into a place that's maybe 10 minutes from, from our place. Um, it's a small company run by a husband and wife team, and I think the first consultation will go for about an hour, and that's 110 bucks. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, I hate it when a sneeze comes, but. <coughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be one of those sneezes that sort of just came to the surface and then went away. Thank God it wasn't, because I love sneezing, it's satisfying. Um, so $110 for the first session. They reckon between 45 minutes and an hour, but I'll try and get my hours worth because not only do I want to address my ankle issue, I want to address my upper right trap is always really tight and it's causing me a lot of pain and discomfort. Um, I know they probably don't tend to like to treat two things at once and I may even find that they're connected just because my whole body's all snapped up. But yeah, I've been reluctant to spend the money on it. I don't know why, I've just been stingy, I guess, but I'm more than happy to spend money on like scuba diving and stuff. I should be spending money on this because this is the thing that's going to allow me to be able to run again properly once I finally rehab it. I miss running a lot. Um, it's going to allow me to be able to lift he heavier weights and all that sort of stuff because I'll actually be able to squat properly because I have full mobility in my ankle. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it goes. Can't wait to tell Emma what sort of treatments he um, does on me and what sort of exercises he prescribes. It'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say for today. I'll let you know how that goes. It's at 11 tomorrow. Um, it's getting on towards midnight, so I'm just scraping in for the day. I think it is. Actually, I'll just check on my phone because it's going to take forever. It's uh, four minutes to midnight, so I will definitely be going to sleep very shortly. And I'm going to sleep amazingly well, I can only imagine. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.